In this video, I'm going to show you how I used a script for Windows to automatically transcribe, subtitle, and caption my audio and video files. Hi, my name is David from FreelancerInsights.com. If you're new to my channel and you love tutorial videos, kindly consider subscribing and supporting the channel by turning on the notification icon. For the purposes of this video, I already have the script installed and I'll open up the script and I also have my files ready. The script supports video files and audio files, but for the purposes of this video, I'll use the audio file for the demonstration of this. Now, once the script opens up, you land on the project browser where you'll see the files that you've been working on, and you'll also be able to add new compositions and new projects to your canvas. So all I need to do is either use the file menu to the top left and open, or use plus new project icon on the canvas. That's what I'll use. And there's an untitled composition. And all I need to do here is just drag my video or audio to the section that is available. And since I already have the folder with the file open, I'll just go and pick it up and move it to the side a little bit and then hold it with a left click and drag it onto the canvas until I see copy and release the left click. Once you release the left click, you see uh, the added adding file uh, notification. And once it's done, you'll see it appear on the canvas. And the audio timeline will start appearing at the bottom as it processes. Now, the important part that we need to focus on here is the bottom left of the screen. That's the most important part of this particular section. Uh, because there is where we need to select a couple of options, whether we need to use automatic transcription, the white glove transcription, or import a transcript. And I already have a video showing how you can import a transcript, but for the purposes of this video, we just want to use the automatic functionality, and all we need to do is just click on transcribe. Once I do that, the script will start to automatically uh, transcribe the audio file into a transcript. Now, depending on the length of your audio or video file, this particular process takes a long time or a short time. But as you can see, it's just pacing through it. So we'll have our transcript in a couple of minutes or seconds, that is. Once the script is done automatically transcribing our audio, it's going to populate it on the canvas. It's a pretty decent transcript, but we can listen through. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily fix or adjust subtitle timings that are out of sync. We can appreciate that uh, the transcript that has been produced is pretty good in terms of uh, punctuation, capitalization, and particularly just picking up everything as it should be. It's an automatic transcript, fairly good. Before we can export our transcript or subtitles, we'll need to ensure that the transcript is error free and therefore we'll need to edit our transcript. There are two modes of editing that are available inside the script and you can either edit the media, that is the audio or video as you edit the text, or you can edit the text or correct the text for errors and maybe punctuation and anything else that involves text without particularly affecting the media, that is the audio or the video. So we'll just navigate to the top left of the canvas and there are two options where you can edit the media or correct the text and we are interested in correcting the text, uh, but for any purposes you might need to maybe edit a video as you edit the text, you can use the edit media option, whereby when you remove the text, it's actually going to remove the particular media or cut off the media from your timeline. And once you export it, the media will be less that particular section. So for the purposes of this video, we just need to correct the text. So I'll click on correct text and we'll get into the correct uh, text editing mode where we'll fix any uh, transcription typos or any other errors that may have been picked up by the script. And for the particular section, the initial section, I noticed that the script did a fairly good job. So I'll just go to the section where I say, hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com. And I'll just make that fix and you can listen. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily fix or adjust subtitle timings that are out of sync. Hi, my name is David from FreelancerInsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. 
now once we can do that I'll just keep making particular changes and you just need to go to the particular section where you need to make a change and click inside and just either do the backspace for example I just fix the URL uh, to my website and just keep making changes until you get to the end once you're comfortable with the changes you've made to your transcript, you'll need to share and export your transcript and subtitles. So therefore you'll need to click on the share icon so that you can access the functionality. You can access the interface to share the particular projects and you can see who has access to the particular files. And for the purposes of this video, we just need to export and I've already shown you how to create audiograms. You can check out that tutorial. So to access the export tab, just click on it or you can press on Control shift a and you have the option to export to text, subtitles or the audio. Now we're going to select the text and here we have the option to select either to Microsoft Word or rich text format. And uh, here you have a couple of configurations that you can do. You can do uh, the timestamps, you can do the speaker labels, markers and all those things that are available on this section. But for the purposes of this video, we'll just export without any of these particular parameters that I've set for us here. Uh, and I'll just untick everything and just click on export. Once you click on export, you'll need to set the destination of the file. And I'll just save it uh, to that particular destination and click. Once you're satisfied with the destination of the file, just click on save. And this will save the file and you'll get a notification and you can just click on open. Once you click on open, it's going to open the folder with the file. And uh, we can just open up uh, the Word document for purposes of viewing. And once Microsoft Word is open, you'll see your transcript uh, with the title and the transcript below the title. And you can repurpose this particular content into maybe a blog post or anything else that you feel you need to repurpose this particular content to. So that's how you export the transcript. Now let's focus on the subtitles. To export your subtitles, you'll need to go back to the share button or control shift A to access the export tab. And then we'll need to select our subtitles. From the subtitles, you can select two particular subtitle formats, subrip uh, files or VTT, which are web video text track, web VTT subtitle files and then there are a couple of formatting options available where you can set the characters per line I prefer 32 to 39 characters per line and the number of lines per caption block I feel that 2 is a good number so I always use 2 for that purposes to avoid giving people eye strain when they're trying to read captions on a video on YouTube or anywhere else once I'm satisfied with my export options I'll just click on export and the script will prompt me for file destination section and I'll save in the same folder where we saved our transcript. I'll just click on save and it's already saved, subtitle saved and I'll click on open. I'll navigate to the folder with a particular subtitle and just double click on it. It's an SRT subtitle and it opens up with any note taking up. And if you don't like the way it looks, all you need to do is just right click on it and click on open with subtitle edit. Uh, and I can just close that and once subtitle edit is open all I need to do is just save subtitle edit is open and I don't need to do anything else other than just go to file save and then close subtitle edit if I double click on this subtitle again you'll notice that the formatting is better and it's clearer and it's what probably people will want to see so there you have it that's how I use the script to automatically transcribe, subtitle and caption my audio and video files for purposes of repurposing or just ensuring that my videos on YouTube have captions available. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, never stop learning, kindly share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and stay safe.